despair-inducing idea. Someone with experience must have planned it. You understand now, right? This room, it represents all the despair we were forced to feel. All the adults back at the secret base. Their loved ones were killed right here. All of them? It's not an exaggeration. Every single one of us had loved ones killed in this room. Then... Those kids somehow discovered all your identities and found your relatives? Y yeah so Well, doesn't that sound strange to you? Do you really think those brats are capable of that? Well, capable or not, that's what happened! And that's why we can't show any mercy! Not anymore! I'll never forgive those bastards! NEVER! This must be where they put the bodies. They threw them away like broken toys. You want to see it? When you do, I'm sure you'll no longer want to take their side. We're not taking their side. It just... It seems like something's off to me. You go on ahead. I want to stay here a little longer. I have to. I have to tell the others about this place. I want to be able to describe it. Mr. Haiji, I understand how you feel, but... Those kids didn't do it of their own free will. Let's just go. <laughs> but... I think old Haiji's, uh... Going off the deep end. Explain the brainwashing to Haichi? He won't even listen to us. It would probably make him even more upset. But I wanted to ask him about his little sister, too. You heard about that from your hallucinations, right? You shouldn't take that as fact. And not just that, but a lot of things seem off. Off? The victims are all relatives of the people at the secret base? Doesn't that seem strange? No matter how smart those brats might be, how could they possibly learn who they all were? Jeez, things are starting to get fishy. But we've come this far. No way we can head back now. I'm sure it'll be all right. You and me, we can do this. You're right, no choice. We have to press forward. I wonder if Haichi's okay. Oh shit. Stop worrying about other people. Right now, you should be worrying about yourself. I mean, it wouldn't be one of these games without like some more twists and shit at the very end. Jesus. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. <laughs> all right. Didn't waste all my bullets, so I guess it's not too bad. Another save area. All right here. And more stairs. Have to be getting close to the roof by now, right? Yep. He's here. Master Biakia is nearby. Huh? How do you know? I can smell him. <laughs> His aromatic sweet fragrance is getting stronger. Of course. You mean his B.O. is getting stronger? Don't say it like that. It makes it sound like he smells bad. But, then again, a smelly master is good too. 
that itself is a reward for us. Us? You're including me in this? Anyway, there's no mistaking it. He's close. But first we have to get the key. I know. That brat called Monica has it, right? But before we go, let me nourish myself. Well, all right then. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. What's in here? So this is the place where the kids were every now and then. For some reason, this room creeps me out. I guess they use this room as a war room. Probably made it creepy for ambiance. Pretty blunt if you ask me. But I guess you can't expect much from kids. Wow. You're mean. <laughs> I'm glad you're on my side. <laughs> That's a backhanded compliment. Well, anyways, let's look around. Oh, fuck. That throne. Of course. There's always a hidden passage behind the throne. Everyone knows that. There you go. So it really was a hidden room. Do you think Byakuya could be in there? This is exactly the kind of room where he'd be hidden. <laughs> Toko, wait up! She just darted off. <laughs> but no, never mind. She's right here. I want to pick up the collectible. I'm sorry, you must be embarrassed by, embarrassed by my hole, but I'm just so tired now. For some reason, I feel really sleepy. Thank you for everything. Please get along with the new kid, too. Ah, that was fun. Well, that dude's just gonna... Whatevs. It's more of a waste of ammo to even fight him. Let's go into this. It's different from the other one. It's really... It looks like a hall of money. This ladder, it's pretty suspicious. But Master is inside a storage room. What kind of storage room would be up a ladder? Well, let's just check it out for now. No, go down the ladder. I want to check out the other stuff. Some weird sound effects. Jesus. Somebody really likes Junko. <laughs> These are all photos of Junko and Ashima. Huh? This person is Junko and Ashima? She's different than how I pictured her. She looks like your typical trendy teenage girl. What are you saying? Do you know how many people have died because of her? Sorry, you're right. And more importantly, this creepy room looks like a cult headquarters. What happened? Take a look at this. That's a very suspicious a photo. This photo with Junko. It's Monica. I see. No wonder. She has a wicked face. Really? Looks like a normal smile to me. That just makes it creepier. Posing with Junko and Ashima and smiling like this. The way this photo was placed here, I guess this is Monica's room. <laughs> No wonder she wants to be the successor. She worships Junko from the bottom of her heart. But don't you think it's a little strange? What do you mean? Don't tell me you're still on about that ghost or whatever. If you're curious, you can question her yourself. 
I thought Master would be here, since this is a hidden room and all. But I guess not. I'm out of here. But just kidding, because I'm still here. Look at all these photos. There's so many. It's just a bunch of sprites, though. From the first game, probably. Collectible. Hey, this is uh, her thing, so I guess we're about to fight her. I never expected my mother would abandon me to my father, someone I never met before. I never thought something like that could happen to me, meow. If this were a fairy tale, the main character would tie the knot with a prince from somewhere. But I know this is reality, not some silly old tale. The only thing I can do is... Sigh. Selfishly do their business, selfishly give birth, and then top it off, selfishly abandon. He he he. Such pathetic characters. How splendid. Ah, right, right. Speaking of splendid, all of my new family is so splendid too. The attitude they have towards me, the outsider, is far too obvious. When I say a joke, the room freezes. When I smile, they make a face that says, you don't deserve to laugh. They're so amazing. It's so splendid. Yuck, 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 yan. It's so splendid, I just want to die. Just kidding. No, seriously. I was kidding. Just a joke. Well, let's get out of here and go to the, down the hallway that we didn't go down before. Which was this one. That leads to another ladder. And another hidden room. Or something. Oh. Almost at the highest level. You're surprisingly correct. That spiral staircase must be connected to the roof. Well, before we go there, let's save. And take a look around. Or not. Is locked. No doubt about it. Master has to be on the other side of this door. Huh? You're not gonna lose your composure this time? You're not gonna like cling to the door and cry and shout and make ugly faces? <laughs> well, it's true that I might do that, but it's weird hearing it from someone else. When your purpose lies just before you, sometimes you need to be as calm as a corpse. That's a creepy example. Anyway, I'm not going to have some half-assed reunion now, but a full joyous reunion later. And when that happens, I'll cry and shout and make ugly faces at Master's arms. Are you sure he'd be okay with that? There's no way he'd dislike it. Jeez, you don't understand men at all. You need to be in love. A woman in love is the most beautiful woman of all. I'll try to remember that. Oh boy. All right. I'm going to do another loop de loop. See if there's any collectibles hanging about. Doesn't look like it, so let's head uh Head to where we gotta go. Up the stairs. So it looks like the roof. The roof. It is not on fire, so 